Tomo News presents Elon Musk. Tesla to launch batteries that can power entire homes. American company Tesla is developing a battery that can power homes with stored solar energy so that users do not need to draw power from the electrical grid. Tesla's home battery charges during the daytime when solar power is plentiful. Homeowners can use the energy stored in the battery and do not need to draw power from the electrical grid during peak hours. Users may then switch back to the electrical grid during off-peak hours when electric rates are cheaper. In a pilot project, a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack is being used that can power homes for about two days in the case of a power outage. The project, run by SolarCity, a company co-chaired by Tesla chief executive Elon Musk, covers 500 homes in California. Musk said the design of the battery will likely be presented to the public in the following months. Production could just be six months away. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. Tesla gets into the home energy game. Tesla has unveiled a solar roof product that doesn't distract from the aesthetics of a home, as they look just like ordinary tiles. Each Tesla roof tile is made up of a solar cell, quartz glass, and a color louver film that makes it appear opaque from an angle. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the tiles have 98% of the efficiency of traditional solar panels. However, the tiles have the potential to go above normal efficiency if improved coatings can trap light inside to reduce loss of energy. Tesla sees the solar roofs working in tandem with its Powerwall battery unit to provide energy for homes and its electric vehicles. Tesla unveiled four types of solar tile during a launch event at the Desperate Housewives set at Universal Studios last Friday. The tiles will be available next year through SolarCity, a solar installation company chaired by Elon Musk, which he's trying to merge with Tesla. Musk didn't reveal any specific prices, but said the Tesla panels would cost less than the full cost of a roof, with the added benefit of being able to generate electricity. Elon Musk shows Jeff Bezos that his is bigger with SpaceX landing. Looks like the race between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos just got a bit more interesting. <laughs> After Musk's SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched satellites into space, then successfully landed on a dime near its launch pad at Cape Canaveral on Monday night. In November, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin also landed a rocket. But Musk quickly pointed out their new Shepard rocket only went up really high and came back down. It didn't orbit. Both are looking to privatize space, but Bezos just wants to send rich douches on vacation. Reusable rockets could be a game changer because launching junk into space would be much cheaper. With only fuel and maintenance costs to consider, Now we just need to see if SpaceX can successfully launch the refurbished Falcon 9 and how long it will take. Musk's eventual goal is to send people on a one-way ticket to Mars. Will the real-life Tony Stark succeed? Who will win the great space race between Bezos and Musk? Billionaire philanthropist Elon Musk has hinted at a new high-speed transport system that could put planes and trains out of business. Called the Hyperloop, the new technology would send passengers flying down a tube at 800 miles an hour on a cushion of compressed air. It would cost $6 billion for people-only pods, 
or 10 billion for larger pods, capable of holding both people and cars. The tube would shoot through an elevated structure, with pods mounted above the ground on columns 50 to 100 yards apart, or through an underground tunnel. Powered by solar technology, the transport would be cheaper than conventional transportation methods. Designed to link cities less than 1,000 miles apart, the Hyperloop could cover the distance between Los Angeles and San Francisco in 30 minutes. According to reports, the system could be built within seven years. A planned high-speed rail link for California, scheduled for 2029, is expected to cost $68 billion. Elon Musk unveils Powerwall. Elon Musk, often called the genius disruptor for his company's goals to privatize space travel and shift the automotive industry into making electric cars, today unveiled a new product dubbed Powerwall. Essentially, a battery pack for homes and businesses using the same technology that makes the company's cars so power efficient. In his presentation, Musk explained that the power needs of the entire U.S. could be met by enough solar panels to take up the space of this green square, and as many of his power wall battery packs to take up even less space. That would amount to several million installations. But Musk explains that we've done the same with cars and computers, so it is doable, especially since the price is about $3,000 per pack. How will big energy take this? Musk has made deals and is doing trials with several power companies and businesses already. But will they follow or fight the disruption he wants? Whatever the case, we know plenty of people who will want one. Gotta be ready for that zombie apocalypse, right? Nonprofit group plans permanent Mars colony. The race to Mars has begun. SpaceX chief executive Elon Musk says the company will send people to Mars by 2024 and he will review plans for colonization in September. Meanwhile, a nonprofit group also aims to establish permanent Mars colonies, sending the first group of astronauts by 2026. After Earth, Mars is the most habitable planet in our solar system. It has similar natural resources, a temperate climate, and an adaptable gravitational pull on its surface. Nonprofit foundation Mars One has developed a plan to colonize Mars. It has already selected six teams of four individuals, and the first team will begin training next year. In 2020, Mars One will launch a communication satellite to the Red Planet. Between 2022 and 2025, a series of rovers will land and assemble livable habitats, which include a life support unit and a communication system. The living unit will house an inflatable living section and an airlock used by astronauts when leaving the sealed, habitable settlement. The unit will include materials for the construction of rooms, floors and electrical outlets and comes equipped with showers and kitchen areas. Additional units will arrive and be constructed as new teams join the colony. Attached to the living unit is the environmental control and life support system. The system will feed nitrogen and argon gas extracted from Mars's atmosphere into the habitable space as inert gases. Thin, film solar photovoltaic panels will be included to generate electricity. The life support system will be equipped with heating units to boil and extract water from ice in the planet's soil. Once the astronauts have landed, it will also be in charge of water purification and removal of carbon dioxide from the living unit atmosphere. The colony's communication system will include two orbiting satellites, one around Mars and one around the Sun. The satellite orbiting Mars will only be interrupted when Mars is positioned between it and Earth. To counter the lapse, the second satellite orbiting the Sun will intercept and relay the transmission, allowing almost 24-7 communication with Earth. The colony will lose transmission only when the Sun is between Mars and Earth, and Mars is between its satellite and Earth simultaneously. Mars One will launch a team of four members every two years, starting in 2026. It will take a year after departing Earth for a team to land on the surface of Mars. The organization hopes to train and send new teams, even after the initial six have colonized the planet. How Elon Musk Hopes to Ferry a Million People to Mars Billionaire Elon Musk has unveiled perhaps his biggest, most ambitious plan yet, colonizing the Red Planet with one million people. Using the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS, SpaceX founder Elon Musk hopes to use a spacecraft composed of a 250-foot reusable rocket and 100-passenger spaceship to ferry humans back and forth to Mars. 
Musk envisions a thousand strong Mars colonial fleet of these ships departing en masse. The rocket booster segment of the ITS will transport the spaceship to low Earth orbit. Both parts of the ITS would be made up of carbon fiber, while the rocket would be powered by 42 SpaceX Raptor engines. That same rocket would then return to Earth and launch again with a propellant tank. This tank then connects with the spaceship to refuel the vessel. The spaceship would use nine SpaceX Raptor engines as well as solar sails which gather energy from the sun on the 54.6 million kilometer journey to Mars. After transporting the cargo and passengers to Mars, the spaceship would refuel at the colony there and fly back to Earth. The cost of a ticket is currently estimated at 10 billion US dollars, but Musk hopes to get that down to below 200,000, or 0.002% of the current cost. Uh, yeah. Best of luck with that, Mr. Musk. SpaceX Chief Elon Musk Preparing Internet Satellite Plan The Wall Street Journal reports that billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk has announced that he is developing a fleet of small and more affordable satellites that could provide internet coverage around the world. The communications satellites would weigh less than 250 pounds, about half the size of the smallest communication satellites currently in commercial use. About 700 of these satellites are expected to be launched, which is 10 times the size of the largest current satellite constellation in operation. The satellites would provide wireless internet access to anywhere on Earth. The Wall Street Journal reports that SpaceX would likely be used to launch the satellites, however no agreement is yet in place. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Tesla to build the world's largest battery Tesla has signed an agreement with the state government of South Australia, promising to build the world's largest lithium-ion battery there in just 100 days, or it's free of charge. Tesla will build a 100-megawatt battery at Hornsdale Wind Farm near Jamestown in South Australia. The project will be 60% larger than battery systems in Southern California. The lithium-ion battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which will store renewable energy generated by wind turbines. The battery could power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there's a shortfall. The venture is part of Tesla's endeavors to promote the transition to sustainable energy. The company has previously released similar clean energy products, such as the Solar Roof, Solar City, and Gigafactory.